This video is about the sustainable initiative in Senegal, of Grid Africa. Uh, this initiative helps villages that don't have electricity and provides them with real solar electricity. So we will go to one of these villages where this has been done. And there we will speak to the owner of the company, Mark, as well as to the chief of the village, as we are very curious what he thinks of this initiative as well. As you can see, we had to go quite off-road with our car to go to this remote village, uh, but we were very happy to be there. Uh, Mark, nice uh, meeting you. We are currently in a, in a village in uh, Senegal with, uh, with our electric car. Uh, and we came uh, across your uh, your project uh, yeah, a couple of months ago, I think. A couple of months ago, yeah. And uh, yeah, here we are in Senegal. So yeah, can you maybe um, introduce yourself a little bit and tell us about your uh, about your project? Um, my name is Mark Krag. I'm the CTO and co-founder of uh, Off Grid Europe and Off Grid Africa. <laughs> And right now you seem to have found your way to one of our containers. Can, can you explain a bit more about how it all started as Off Grid Africa? Why you began and how it's going here in Senegal? We had a connection through a friend uh, who had some family in, in Senegal. And through that we, we had a connection with Senegal which was, was a good entry point, I'd say, into to, to set up setting up business. Um, at that point in time, we were already experimenting with off grid. Well, we'd already done quite a few containerized solutions. So now we have fifty five people, I believe, working in Senegal. We have three teams installing. I think we actually have four now, and um, and and they're providing uh, electricity to villages. And you're in in one of those villages right now. How do you normally start? So you, or like one of your team uh, uh, is going to this village and then just checking what is possible for going full solar. Well, it's a bit more um, comprehensive than that because um, an electrification of a village is part of a government plan. You, you know, you basically have thousands of villages that, uh, that in one way or another don't have electricity, right? So you need to prioritize who's going to be able to get that electricity. So you need to first go out and get a site survey done. And then you need to get approval of the village elders. Uh, and then we build the system. And that can be done really just in a matter of a few days. And then the electrical line would already been put in place or be put in place afterwards. Yeah, because you started in Texas with 300, if I understand correctly. And now you're starting in other countries in Africa as well. Yeah, exactly. So. There are some, um, should we say, upcoming projects right now. I think um, in Angola and in Morocco, hopefully, and a few other sort of in in the founding uh, phases of it. And, and what's really important is that you have a lot of well-meaning people in across the entire chain that are really trying to achieve the overall target, which is of course electrification of villages. That is the number number one priority. With electricity, you have access to just reading lights and street lamps, that sort of thing. Um, refrigeration for small businesses who would provide people with just access to a cold uh, soft drink of some sort. Agricultural machines that can be helping uh, in the various parts of the harvest seasons instead of running some motor that is burning a fuel. Irrigation pumps. You know the wells, for example, they're very deep, right? I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> some of them are yeah. 40 meters deep. They dig that hole. You know, instead of just boring a hole straight down, uh, a, a hole like this, you have a whole s massive hole yeah. that a person can fall straight down. Um, yeah. And and so, you know, that's the point, right, that you want to be bringing all you want to be bringing power to people so that they can uh, improve on, a, you know, on every single level. Well, it's nice meeting you, Mark. Yeah. It's yeah, nice meeting you, too. Doing. That's really cool. Yeah, well, well, keep up the good work, and uh, who knows uh, that we see each other uh, again in the future, exactly. maybe in Germany yeah. or uh, yeah. Let's do that. We now go to the interview with the chief of the local village, as he only speaks Creole. Uh, an employee of Mark helps us with the translation into English. Man, ala isala la tudo. Ti moi gui mari buri. His name is Ala Isal, and he is Gui Mari Buri village. Um, he is very happy about the solar system. Then 
uh, he thanks the people who did it. Then uh, the solar helped them to have light right now, so they're happy about it. They have them in a lot of things because uh, people used to chew here. Then uh, now the, the you can barely see it because the chiefs they didn't come again because of the light. And also, what they complain about is the solar, the, the, the electricity didn't come to them house yet. So if they can have it like so quickly in them house, so they're gonna be happy. The first thing he's gonna do is to, to have a TV <laughs> with the electricity, then a fridge because they have uh, this baobab. Uh, the, the, they, they can have make a juice from the baobab fruits. It's called bui. Then they're gonna sell it. It's like an ice cream. Ladies can have work with that and make ice cream, go around other villages and sell, sell the, those ice cream. Then also the TV can help to know what is going on around the world because they don't know what is going on around the world so they're gonna have actuality like news for like every day. Thanks you first, then say he's very happy about this initiative to install the solar systems then also uh, he have new friends from guys who come here then installed it then he was very happy about it because they very brave people they always come here and install day by day until they get the solar system done so he's very happy that's the that's the great thing he can say his thank you as you can see this village didn't have any electricity beforehand and now that mark came over they went in one step to green solar energy off grid so that's very cool and we look forward to seeing what they will do with these advantages in the future <laughs>